Hello, my name is Luis Velasquez. This video demonstrates how to oil paint with your fingers. Many great painters, including Rembrandt, Titian, El Greco, Velasquez, and many others painted with their fingers. This video also demonstrates the calcite sun oil method of oil painting, which is based on Rembrandt's paintings. This is the finished painting that I painted with my fingers. El Greco's 400 year old paintings look very modern today because he painted with a freedom that is impressionistic, loose and spirited. El Greco made no attempt to paint nature like a photograph. He was a creative artist using color, light, and form as an expressionist. Like El Greco, I too make no attempt to paint realistically like a photograph. Please follow along as I will shortly begin the demonstration with step one. The video will have narrated sections and there will be text boxes to read. Please use your pause button to stop the film so that you can read the text boxes. Do not be alarmed when there are long periods of silence. The board is on the easel, prepared, ready to be painted on. I made a small drawing of my idea, a man holding a guitar. The design is important. I changed the hat several times to get the right position. I added a table. We're going to do the drawing with non-fat milk mixed with powdered pigment. I will only be using the black. I could use the white also to make corrections, but I decided not to. I like the freedom of creativity, so I did not make a grid. I will just find out where the shapes are at. This is a very important part of the painting. The uh, milk paint is nothing more than powder and non-fat milk. Don't use canned milk. Use refrigerated milk. Non-fat milk only. Don't use whole milk and don't use low-fat milk. Don't use canned milk. The milk paint dries very fast. We'll be making a guado. Uh, the calcite sun oil method uses has created uh, four oil out mediums. A guado is simply sun oil mixed with chalk in a very soupy consistency. You don't need a muller, and you the grinding table is a, uh, uh, a f glazed uh, tile that's used in flooring. We're going to be applying this all over the entire surface. The oil out is an important procedure. It's a lubricant 
for the painting that you apply. You can use a rag, you can use a stiff brush, but I have, found, I have found that the best is is your hand. The goal is to put an even coat all the way all, all over the entire surface. Now you won't be able to see it, so I added a little bit of color. You can use any color you want, just so that you'll be able to see it when you apply it. Once it's rubbed all over, you want to smooth it all over the entire surface. And once you do that, you're going to want to wipe it off. I use uh, kitchen napkins. Uh, you can use uh, lint-free cheesecloth, but that's very expensive. Uh, it doesn't matter if the color comes off. It's not important. What you're trying to do is make sure that it's a very thin coat. Now we're going to make the calcite sun oil, also called CSO. The CSO is made to be very uh, thick, opposite to the aguado. Aguado is a wor word in Spanish that means very soupy and thin. In the next step, we're going to mix the CSO with the tube paint. You don't have to measure it exactly. Uh, we use about a 50-50 ratio and it takes seconds, probably 10 seconds to mix them together each color. And this is after I've mixed them together with a palette knife. Again, you don't need a molar. And uh, this is the type of the paint the old masters used. Now we're going to begin the actual painting. I'm using some burnt sienna and I'm going to place it in the areas where I want it to be, the skin tones, the guitar. Painting with your fingers and your hands is very, very fast. And you can control the thickness of the paint very easily. I started with some ultramarine blue in the back. I decided to paint the shirt white so it would stand out. My inspiration for the finger painting was from El Greco's paintings. I've seen many of his paintings, studied the originals, and there are many things about his paint application that brought, always had my attention.
the painting uh, is not finished. I worked on it for a couple of hours and I like to stand back and look at how it's progressing. You can call this an intermediate stage. There's still a lot of work to be done. This reminds me of a painting by Franz Hals that I saw in in Holland. Uh, at the end of his life he painted very impressionistically, just what you see here. Some of the effects also remind me of the work of Vincent van Gogh. I scratched into the wet paint with my fingernail to make the appearance of the guitar strings. Finger painting is only part of the painting process. Uh, artists use a number of tools. Now, after I've gotten to the point where I cannot make fine lines and fine definitions, uh, I use a brush. This is a, a round. I only use round ferrule brushes. doesn't matter which way you turn them. You, you don't wind up with uh, bad markings. Um, this is a bristle. I'm, I don't want to get photographic realistic. I'm trying to remain impressionistic. With the brush and the black paint, I was able to make some def definitions of form and also to create some shading and shadowy when I needed to do it. Compared to the finger painting, this is a much slower pace, being careful to paint the exact marks that I really want to put down. The beauty of the finger painting is it stops you from getting all that superfluous detail and it allows you to concentrate on broad values. These broad values are, are important in the spatial relationships, the positive and negative spaces and shapes. And another point is finger painting is, is actually a lot of fun. It's very liberating. The painting took about five hours to paint.
the next day uh, in the bright sunlight I took these photos which show the color more accurately than from inside my studio room. The white you see there is what I have seen in El Greco's paintings, that type of manipulation. Here's another example of effects that I've seen in some Dutch and Spanish paintings. The little dark lines in the hands were made by the brush, between the fingers, under the arm. As the video comes to a conclusion, I want to thank everybody for for viewing it, and I hope to hear from you. You can write to me through my website. I respond to all letters. If you have inquiries or suggestions or commentaries, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video.